Hello, I'm Leanne Holmesy, and I blog about customer service. And it's usually in the food service industry that I have most of my focus or my coaching or my commentary, but today I'm going to mention the retail sector only because I went shopping at Fox's recently and I just finished posting a review on Yelp about my experience at Fox's and I'm wondering have you, has this ever happened to you? Happy Valentine's Day by the way 2014 and um, I walked in to Fox's on the Upper West Side and had a very expected experience, meaning nothing out of the ordinary was happening. There were clothes I was looking through, there were conversations going on. Um, it was later on in the evening and I basically um, was perusing but I know that it was getting close to closing time. And I went downstairs where they have the shoe department and I noticed two employees who were talking to each other and leaning on a clothing rack and um, thought not, I didn't think that much about it. Um, and then they finished up their conversation and maybe five minutes later they separated and went their ways and then all of a sudden the music stopped, like abruptly, not a fade out like we do in the restaurant business, but you know, like an abrupt stop. And then the other employee that was still on the floor said, oh, I can't wait to get out of here. Now, I don't know about you, but when, when I'm in a store, I'm kind of feeling like the guest of honor. Like w what I think and my perception of what's going on matters because I have money to spend. That was definitely not the feeling I got. So um, I was a little like, wow, uh, that's strange. You know, I can't wait to get out of here. Like, what if somebody was in your home and, you know, would you be putting dinner down on the, t on the table for them saying, I can't wait to get out of here. Like, I'm a guest in your business, you know. So anyway, that was my thought, and then I had another experience moments later when she said to the same employee, went to um, another uh, customer and said, we're closing in eight minutes, just so you know. Um, <laughs> so I just thought, wow, turn off the music, say, I can't wait to get out of here, and by the way, we're closing. It was just wow, and I just wrote on my Yelp review that not only did I feel not wonderful, but this, this, the same room where I was standing only moments ago feeling like I was in a candy land of shoes, now I just felt like I was in, I was an unwelcome guest in a basement with a bunch, surrounded by a bunch of things that I didn't need, and so I left. So I'm wondering if anything like this has ever happened to you. But on the heels of that concept or in that review, that negative, I have to say that something really positive happened as well. So um, my thought on that is this. So something really positive happened at that same shopping excursion too. I was upstairs um, and I didn't, I was, I went in first for pants, but ended up with a Michael Kors coat in my hand because it was gorgeous. And I knew I didn't have enough money to buy it, but I wanted to try it on anyway. And of course, I fell in love with it, and now I'm in that probably really familiar dilemma of having stuff that I want and not enough money to pay for it. So as I was walking back out to return my Michael, to his coat rack, um, an employee I didn't even see said, how are you finding the coats? And I thought, wow, now here's somebody who, I, I mean, I, I say this all the time, why ask 
closed-ended questions like, are you finding everything? Yes. Like, leave me alone. Um, do you need help? No. <laughs> uh, how are you today? Fine. <laughs> But this was a question, I love these questions, because it engaged me. Now I had to answer it. It was almost impossible to be saying yes, no, or uh, no thank you. Um, now she was engaging me, and I, was, I, I said, uh, I'm fine, I'm, they're beautiful, I wish I could afford them. And she turned around and said, well, you know that they're 25% off, right? Um, no, actually, I didn't know that. And that made the difference between buying Michael and going home with him or putting him back on the rack and taking my pants home. I ended up with all of the items that I wanted because I didn't know that it was 25% off. It, and and, she, and it, what, probably the, what sealed the deal is she said they're brand new today and there's, th that's all, this, this is all we got. I think there was only four coats. One of them was in my size. So that was the sealed deal right there that I wasn't going to have another opportunity to make this guessing, well, to, to, to think twice. And now, with 25% off, there was no reason to think twice. So I just, I, I wanted to post on Yelp what a pleasant experience I had. I mentioned who she was so that she could get the accolades. I'm not really fond of pointing out people's characteristics um, when they're not doing what I think customer service employees should be doing. Um, so that everyone can read what not to do and they don't take it personally if it was them. But when they absolutely did the right thing in my book, um, I want to make sure that they are recognized. And I really think the world of this one employee who just made my shopping experience so nice after being after made to feel so unwelcome by other employees. And I wonder, you know, what is the training that goes on? Can, you know, is it very standard stuff? Because this is a different age altogether. Just in the last two years, the entire world has changed. Everyone does everything with a more social mindset. They all have phones in their hand. They all can access social media. They can all take advantage of deals and coupons or Q&R codes or, um, you know, the, the, the list goes on and it just seems, as I'm walking through these stores, it seems as though the clothing and the, the, the articles that are for sale are very up to date, but I, I feel like I'm walking around in the Stone Age, that the employees treat me as though, you know, this was their living room and I, you know, and I'm an interruption or they weren't expecting me to see me or they, they you know, they they feel comfortable enough to lean on things or walk around, you know, saying disparaging things about their jobs. It just, it's bananas to me that in this day and age and this global opportunity to sell more, buy more, connect more, that people aren't on their P's and Q's and making sure that every experience that a customer has is amazing. Because um, those are the employees that get bonuses, raises, um, you know, gift cards from from customers around the holidays. They, you know, they just they're, they're more recognized in the community. They they have more going on in their life, and I wish more employees recognize that when they're doing the standard, and you know, doing less, it, it really ends up giving them less. So kudos to the employee about 50 plus years old on the upstairs level at Fox's on Thursday last week who helped me significantly and helped me write an article about customer service. Um, I appreciate you and I will be back to tell you and your manager. Thank you.